Everyone and Internet fans, welcome back to the channel. Today we're off to a long five hour drive to Fleetwood Town. Well, it's a must need win today, I think, and I think it will be a win today. I'm going to say 2 0. What about you, Mush? Um, yeah, long old drive today, Fleetwood. Not in the best of form, are they? Um, which is a bit of a banana skin, but I think Pompey, Pompey will turn it around, won't they? Yeah. Let's hope so, let's hope so. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for a last minute 1 0. A really scrappy game, but we're going to win it. Said that last week, didn't quite come out very well, did it? <laughs> um, so, who's on the Wall of Fame today then, Mush? Wall of Fame today? Well, again, Fleetwood, a really hard one. No one actually up, so we've got to go to the iPad. So, played 17 games for Pompey, 2016 17. Uh, was on Fleetwood's books from 2014. Although, didn't actually play a league game, I don't think. He was loaned out quite a bit. So today, it's Tom Davies. I'm here with Jimmy and Mark. Um, must win game, should win today, shouldn't we? Oh yeah, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a 3-1, I think. Definitely. 3-1. Uh, 3-1 as well, brilliant. Boris and Jaden, what's the score going to be today? Uh, I'm thinking 1-0. 1-0? Yep. 2-0. 2-0 to Pompey. Nick. You haven't won this year yet, but that's not going to change today, is it? We've won four games all together this year, and we haven't won in, a, in like we haven't scored proper goals since Exeter at home. We need to win because it's been two months. We sacked two managers, and what's score going to be today? Uh, seven nil Portsmouth. Paddy Lane, Paddy Lane's going to score one of them. And are you excited to be at your first game today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we drove down. We uh, drove down from Inverness this morning at four a.m. So. Yeah. Yeah, special shout out to his mum and sister back home. And are you scared that if you get relegated this season, get relegated again and be out of the football leagues? I reckon. I'm scared, literally. We've got the defenders to do it, but keep us up. And we've got goal scorers, Stockley, Jack Marriott. And obviously Tom Lowry came off the bench against Leighton Orient last week and played brilliantly. Would you start him today? Uh, yeah, I was at the game last Saturday. I thought he was probably the only positive out of the game. Quite a transfer window so far. Are you, are you worried? Uh, we definitely need a striker. Definitely need a central defender. Definitely at least them two, don't we? We started filming. You told us something happened here against Derby. What was it? The Derby keeper's shorts fell down. And what happened to him? And what happened? He got, he got sent off. Um, it's been a quiet transfer window at the moment. Are you a bit worried? Uh, a little bit, especially uh, since Robertson's been injured as well. Today's player profile is our 2003 championship winner and played over 100 games for Pompey, Harry Anderzu. Harry Anderzu, you played a lot of big games for Pompey. Um, are there surely a favourite one you can pick out? The, the game against uh, Southampton, where we beat them 4-1 and more or less saved our survival in the Premiership. Uh, but the, the championship game, when we won the championship, was, was brilliant as well, obviously. Yeah. Pick a card. Anyone you want. Card number three. If you weren't the footballer, what would you be? Mm. Uh, probably, I wanted to be a fighter pilot, uh, but I was slightly colour blind, so I couldn't do that. Um, I probably, I might be a policeman like I am now. And what's your least favourite training exercise? Least favourite? Uh, that would be... I actually don't have many bad favourites. I love training and playing. But if, if anything, it'd probably be um, passing games for the fun of passing it instead of going towards goal or something. And who are the friendliest away fans you've encountered? Friendliest? God, I didn't expect that one. Um, that's that's a question I've never been asked, you know. I was going to say the worst are probably Millwall fans, and but the best, well, I, I really don't know. Really don't know. No, never given any thought. No. Well, I've never really played that much against Pompey. Um, no, uh, no, wouldn't, um, no, speechless, speechless, I don't know what to say, no, sorry. And um, who's the 
most famous person you've met and anyone you'd like to meet? The most famous person I've met? God, you have some difficult questions for me. Um, I wouldn't know, probably, probably one of the uh, Bono from U2 once in a, in a concert. He's pretty, pretty famous, isn't he? You don't know him? No. 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 You might know him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, who would I like to meet? Well, I think somebody like Nelson Mandela would be would be high up the list, or people that inspire nations, and uh, he certainly done that. Yeah. And um, my channel is called Pumpy in It, and we ask everyone for, for a Pumpy in It. So can we get a Pumpy in It? Yes, you can. Pumpy in It. Cheers. All right, pal. Good luck with your channel. Thank you. All right. Good luck, John. Go on, Riley. Good, yeah? Tom, good luck, mate. Come on, Abu. Another goal today. Your school, <laughs> um, brilliant goal, and yeah, and um, good team of performance. What's your thoughts? 
Obviously, we came here to get the three points. It wasn't a good run that we was on, but to come here and get the three points just lifted up the spirits even more. So happy with the three points. And dressing room must be buzzing after that win on the road for confidence. Definitely. It's just going to make us want to push and get even more points on the board and push for the title. And um, we've got you on a lot um, this season. I think you know what's coming. Fun for you, isn't it? Cheers, Abu. It's all right. See you. Riley Towler, finally we can get you on at last after your first league start. Um, looked absolutely comfortable at the back playing today. What's your thoughts? Cheers, mate. I thought it was a, first of all, it was a great three points to come away. Obviously, it's a tough place and it was a gritty hard game and I thought I thought the boys done really well. Personally, it's just obviously the best feeling being back out there. So um, I'm absolutely chuffed and buzzing with the win. Uh, my man in the match has like comfortable performance, brilliant. Um, dressing room must be buzzing. Oh, three points on the road for a confidence boosting win. Obviously, the come out here to win especially get the clean sheet as well so to get the win come this far and all the fans I thought thought we had more more away fans than we fleet would have didn't even think they had that we had sold out so much so I thought I thought there's travel in their numbers I thought there's loud I thought there's I thought there's brilliant so um to send them home happy as well is is a quality feeling and can we get the first one off you for the season Pompey in it and can we get a Pompey in it we can uh, can Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Come on, let's go. Can we get a Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Cheers, Nick. And can we get a Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Oh, yeah. Pompey in it. Yeah. Right, cheers. Full time, 1-0 win. What a win. Brilliant. Thank, thank God we're back on winning ways now. Yeah, back to winning ways. Confidence boosting win, wasn't it? Definitely, yeah. Uh, Job done, really, to be honest. I think, yeah. Just hopefully you can carry this on now. Just carry it on. Did you panic when they got the free kick with about a minute to go? I, oh, I think everyone did to be honest. I didn't think they were going to score from it to be honest because they weren't. They didn't look score in the whole nah, game, did they? But did when, they? You, when you get a free kick of a minute to go, it nah. does make you panic. But, oh well, win's a win. Win's three a win. points, still Best, top of the league. Best of three away games on the yeah. top. See you at Port Vale. See you at Port Vale.